My hands are too small for the Charlie cut. Hey guys, my name is Alex of December Boys and I just uh, took a look at your comments to one of our videos. For f sake guys, are you serious? My hands are too small, my hands are too small, my hand is way too small. My hands are too small for the Charlie cut. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I mean, seriously, throughout the last, I don't know, like 10 years that I've been into cardistry, I've had people complaining about their small hands, small fingers, small fingers, whatever. And uh, eventually it all boils down to one fact that you just lack dedication, there is not enough practice that you put into and not enough effort. This is just a pathetic excuse. My hands are too small for the Charlie cut. My reply was, his are too. And this is the video that I linked in my comment. That's a really weird but effective way to encourage people, lol. And indeed it is. He is Marty Gilbert, I will leave a link to his Instagram and YouTube channel in the description. And then the next comment that we got, December Boys, wow, what a dick. Yes, I am. And this is the only way, guys, for you to stop whining and moaning about having small hands. The size of the hand doesn't matter. I have big hand, he has small hands. And he do it better than me. I mean, you don't have to have this uh, giant. Good. Yes. When I started cardistry, I couldn't do a Charlie cut as well. I was just dropping cards all over the place. You won't achieve anything in cardistry if you're not dedicated enough, if you don't practice at least for a few weeks, let alone for a few months or a few years. So it's not about execution because you can execute the Charlie cut somehow close it and of course formally have just completed a charlie cut but it means nothing cardistry is not about execution cardistry is about having style having flow and uh, doing the things naturally so that it will look to a layman that you don't apply any effort and uh, what are the tips for the charlie cut you can of course have troubles with Charlie cut when you're starting. So I would suggest just dropping a few cards, like 10 cards from the deck. The deck is thinner, it is smaller as well. So your hands can actually reach further and you can grip the deck with the knuckles of your fingers naturally. So you can push the cards like this and perform the Charlie cut. Another trick which I wouldn't use right now, but uh, I would suggest separating the deck into two piles and use a rubber band and wrap it around the packet number one, wrap the rubber band around packet number two. And this will make this packet stick together. It's like, it's like you're doing a Charlie cut with two cards. So you do this. If you can do this with two cards or two blocks which are being glued together, that means that it will take you only a few weeks of practice to actually nail the flourish and perform it with a full deck, like this. Also another tip that I have seen people doing a lot of mistakes, like beginners, they do some kind of weird motions which make cards slide and just index finger is performing some unregulated movements. And uh, this is a common problem and it should be fixed. You just lower this index finger, just like this. This is the action you perform it. And put, put it, wrap it around the deck like this. You just slide it with your nail and regrip it over here. So we can actually close the top packet without any problem. So you don't have to extend your index finger like this or put it in some weird position. Everything is natural. So you just perform the Charlie cut and close the packet. So the other comment is I'm 13 and I can do it. And this is what what's it's all about. If you're, it doesn't really matter how old are you. I've seen people who are 12 or 13 and do cardistry at an entirely different level compared to me. 
and uh, to many people who are watching this video as well. If you have seen our cardio stick on video, Andrew G and uh, Dimitri Arleri compared their size of the hands and still Andrew is performing so many moves that require this extension of index finger and different kind of reaching. He is performing the thumb cut, which is probably, arguably, the hardest one-handed cut that you're performing and it requires your hand to be positioned properly. You're left-handed, crazy to follow. I'm not sure if I disclose this information in the initial tutorial. If you're right-handed, make sure you follow me exactly as I am doing the flourishes. But if you want to, you can, of course, perform this Charlie cut or whatever in your right hand. It will help you develop your thinking about cardistry even better. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's not something that you have to follow necessarily because, for instance, Oliver Sagard, he is right-handed, but he performs all the one-handed flourishes in his right hand. My fingers are not long enough. This is the same issue, we just covered it, so we just rewind the video and watch it from the very beginning. It's all about practice and you don't have to be discouraged by the fact that you have small hands or you just can't nail the flourish on the first try. It will never happen unless you're super talented or, I don't know, unless you have some previous experience with some sleight of hand movements. And then there is a reply uh, about fingers not being long enough. No, they aren't. Trust me, I thought the same at first when I started practicing it, but if you just keep practicing, you will be able to do it perfectly within like two weeks. Don't give up, mate. Cardistry is all about practicing. This is everything like that we are preaching here in this video. Now that's a terrible tutorial. Okay, thank you. I mean, I take all the criticism. It was probably a bit confusing, but all the tutorials from this video, after this video we filmed, always were featuring over the shoulder view. And uh, in our future videos, we'll always be featuring this over the shoulder view as well. Can you explain how to get such big hands that you can clear packets in the scissors cut? Now, this is like almost exactly the same issue that we have covered. You don't really have to have big hands. And I mean, depends on how you're gripping the deck. If you're gripping the deck like this, it, it will be actually very hard for me even to clear this packet like this. So you make sure that you're taking advantage of your grip, helping you, benefiting your move. So when I'm trying to perform the scissors cut, I can see that my index finger is gripping this short edge from this side. I don't want to have my index finger over here. And this is crucial, because otherwise you will have difficulties indeed with clearing this stop packet. Make sure you just stretch your hands before performing and uh, maybe do some these kind of stretches. Uh, yeah, also if you the same applies to scissors cut, just make the deck smaller, like put 15 cards aside, try performing, it will be much more easier. It's not always visible in video tutorial, you need to actually practice with the grips on your own. Same applies to thumb cut. So, this is how you do the thumb cut, but if you have small hands, you have to adjust the deck, you have to adjust the grip. Maybe it will be different from what I have performed in the video, but then you want to perform uh, the thumb cut on the edges of your knuckles, like this. You have to put the deck as far as you can towards your uh, fingers, and then you will have much more space here in order to wrap your hand around the deck and you can see how much extra space I have now, right now with my thumb in order to grip and separate, split the deck into two halves. Uh, yeah, so it's all about experimenting with the grips. If you have really extra small hands, uh, it's still possible. In the intro there is a trigger, but in the tutorial there isn't trigger, WTF. So in the intro we have performed we have performed, yeah, we probably have performed this cut, which is called Bolis uh, by R.A. Mendoza. And uh, it was also published in New York Notes by Nikolai Pedersen, and he called it Trigger. So we have also filmed a video on Trigger or Bolis and uh, where the roots of these one-handed cuts go. And make sure to check out this video. We will leave the link in the description. Forget the clickbait title, it's not beginner, expect the thumb cut. Oh seriously, it's not beginner's cut. I mean clickbait title, it's when you name something and then it's not what it is in the video. 
I, for one, believe that all the cuts that I have performed in the video are actually beginner one-handed cuts. You probably haven't seen what advanced cuts are and the thumb cut it's a beginner level cut and just deal with it. I can get the basic Charlie cut, but having trouble getting my hand to do the running Charlie, I can bring the curled index far enough for my other fingers to pull the top packet down and under. Try it with uh, less cards than 52, like you just drop, uh, put aside like 15 cards from the deck. It takes some practice to actually, for this packet to clear this index finger, you need to really extend the fingers and you need to extend not only, it's not about the index finger which does the most of the work here, it's about your middle finger and your ring fingers which are kind of trying to extend them as far as you can and if I just pull these two fingers with my right hand like this, you can see this packet, it clears itself. So let's see how it looks one more time. I have my index finger, okay, I'm stuck here, so what do I do? I see that this packet is angled enough to be cleared just by pulling my these fingers and I can see this packet clears itself. So what is the problem? These fingers aren't developed enough for this cut. So what you need to do is just, like I said, try it with less cards and try extending your middle and uh, ring fingers first and then actually trying to push through uh, with uh, your index finger. So this is how you basically do running Charlie or like triple Charlie. Uh, I'm a beginner and it took me three days to master the Charlie cut. Bad explanation, bad. Still works if you practice enough. How exactly is this explanation bad if you master it in, in three days? But I'm, I'm really happy for you. I'm a beginner and these are very difficult to perform, let, an, let alone follow. Then you're not a beginner, then you're below beginner. Is there any level? Difficulty level below beginner? Beginner junior. Beginner junior. Looking at how you do this thumb cut, you must have some long fingers. My middle finger will not wrap around like that. And I have pretty big hands. Jeez. Like we have already covered it before, adjust your grip. Make sure the cards are resting on your fingers. And this is like extreme example. But still, you will definitely be able to reach like with your thumb and you have enough space to actually wrap the cards and then split the cards like this and perform any cut you want, but thumb cut in particular. Basically, everything card is true is impossible for anybody with small hands to do. My hands are basically miniature. Uh, we are just trying to help you here. We're not trying to mock you for having small hands, but small hands in cardistry are bad excuses, very bad excuses, and you have to be more persistent, dedicate more time, put more effort, make sure you practice enough, and uh, follow the tips that we have actually offered you guys in this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or if you want us to review our previous tutorials or offer you some tips on uh, some moves that we haven't explained yet. That's it for me now, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. До побачення.